Cabinet staters have now played an insider role in appointing not one, but two Supreme Court justices. President Trump chose former Senator Kelly Ayotte to shepherd the nomination of Neil Gorsuch through the U.S. Senate. While she did win some bipartisan support, Republicans still had to use the so-called nuclear option, changing Senate rules to allow a simple majority to elevate Gorsuch to the court. Should those rules come back, do you think the Senate functions more effectively or is I a think, better policymaking body? That bell has been rung. Yeah. Um, I'm disappointed that we are where we are on this. Uh, but again, I think that there really wasn't a choice. Ayotte is encouraged by one change in Washington, President Trump's recent foreign policy shift, embracing NATO, taking action in Syria, even if it marks a dramatic departure from what he said on the campaign trail. Does that worry you at all that he changes his well, mind? Well, I'm glad that he was able to reevaluate his position based on the information he's getting as president. The former senator and New Hampshire attorney general also weighed in on the hot topic of voting rights. Trump has alleged that voter fraud cost Ayotte re-election. I was disappointed, but I accept the results in my race. Um, that said, you know, I do think that it would be important for the legislature to look at our residency requirements because we really don't have any. And you should have a stake in our state um, when you're electing people who are going to represent you for two to, you know, to six years. Um, I think that's important. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9. To watch Senator Ayotte's entire interview, be sure to tune in to Close Up Sunday morning at 10 a.m. right here on WMUR.